What's up everybody, it is Kane, not Kasugi, here with another video reacting to different Ninja Warrior things from around the world. And last time, we did Sasuke Singapore. This time, we're going to Taiwan. But wait, Kane, there's no Ninja Warrior show in Taiwan. And you're right, there isn't a Ninja Warrior show in Taiwan. That's not what we're reacting to today. We are reacting to the Jimmy Fit Games in Taiwan, which is a four-stage competition which is pretty much the only thing that actually follows Sasuke's format in its purity in the world. You know, we've seen different shows use the four-stage format of Sasuke, which I like to call the Midoriyama format, but then they'll add on qualifiers or semifinals, or they'll change one of the stages to be ninja versus ninja, and we don't, we don't need all that. We just want the simple four stages sometimes. I've also seen some different gyms and different ninja organizations hold multi-stage formats, but they're only three stages, or there's a fourth stage, but you can like qualify, like make stage three a furthest fastest, and then have them do a climb off. Like it's not the same format, and that's okay because ninja is trying to experiment and figure out where it belongs as a sport right now. But at the same time, you, sometimes the simpler stuff is better, and sometimes it's just more enjoyable to turn your brain off and watch something that you know you understand. With that said, this is the only gym I've ever seen actually do a four-stage format the same way Sasuke has. They have their games out from this past year. They just did it about a month ago, and um, I want to see how it turned out. So let's check out their stages. I know they put this stuff on their Instagram this year, so let's check out stage one. Where is stage one? Oh, hey, Gauntlet. Shout out to Gauntlet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, so this came out April 8th and April 9th. Stage one. Let's see how this goes. Oh, no copyright music. Okay, quad steps, little balancey bars. This is simple enough, especially if they're stepping on the red. Ooh, I kind of like star holds, but I've never gotten to try one. Uh-huh. Simple enough. Ooh, okay. Hold up, hold up. That, hold up. That was actually a kind of tough obstacle there. I mean, like, obviously it's clearable. Um, and, and those are on four chains, not two chains. So, like, the footholds don't wobble a whole bunch. A balance slash agility obstacle into something that you have to grab. I think that's kind of fun. Interesting. Okay. Okay. They got me. Okay. Rings. Wow. Okay. The warm-up zone of all whatever. Um, okay. I mean, I guess that was simple enough. They slide. A little battering ram. Okay. I would say that's probably the hardest thing I've seen on this stage. Bosu balls in a balance tank. Oh man, the balance tank. The only obstacle that I feel 100% confident on all the time. Warped wall. Okay, so that's stage one. Stage one, get. Get. It honestly seems like a very doable stage one, and I'm not, I'm not against that at all, because stage one should not be designed to destroy everybody. But at the same time, um, I know that they also have a hundred competitors in this and so obviously majority of your field is going to fail stage one But you're you know, you still if you're doing a gym competition There's some things that you have to understand you are taking their money as a gym And you want to make sure that the athletes are getting their money's worth. So a stage one that's kind of easy Isn't the worst thing in the world, but now I want to see how many people cleared it. Let me see if I can find it so looking here we've got seven right there and oh it's in the caption as well oh my gosh that's a lot of people first day came to a full end congratulations to the following players for reaching stage two 29 people on this page and seven on the other page that's 36 people out of 100 who beat the first stage that's not bad again that's a clear rate that you kind of want for a gym competition just so you're not having all these people pay for registration and then getting destroyed by the first stage. 36 out of 100 is pretty good. And we know like the Sasuke record is 37. So if you're hitting around those numbers for a gym competition, I say that's okay. But how's their stage two? Let's find out. Stage two. 
Okay. We got some cannonballs. That's always good. Ooh, ropes on the little battering ram. Easy enough, though. I'm really chalking up. I wonder where he's going. Ugh, pegboards. Okay. Okay, wow, that's a move and a half. Let's back up for a second. I suck at pegboards for the wrong reason, bro. Like, obviously pegboards are to train your lock-offs when you, as, as Akbar Baja Biamila would say, keep your L's or whatever. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're not perfect for me, but I've improved and I feel that improvement much, much more than I did when I first started. Like, I feel stronger when it comes to lock-offs now. However, what I am messing up is the precision. Actually getting the peg into the hole. Yeah, you know, the thing that honestly requires less physicality, it's more like hand-eye coordination, I'm messing that up. Once I can actually get that down, I think I'll be a lot better at pegboards. But um, even then, you know, like if, if I have to go sideways, I could probably do a pegboard that way, but just... <sighs> Someone give me like hand-eye coordination drills. I need to practice those. Moving on, stage two. Pegboards, 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 pegboards. This dude's really taking his time, but his arms are like fully extended. So I guess that's fair. Like he doesn't have to, he's trying to save energy i guess ring toss another pretty simple obstacle this just seems like it's there to pump you out you know and that's okay these these don't have to be the most failable obstacles it, it just depends on what's on their second half of the course um it, are they doing an they're doing an a and w rope swing okay a and w rope swing let's let's move on Chalk. It looks like the salmon ladder's up next. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's touching the salmon ladder. I don't know what he's trying to do. Um, why is he taking so long? Okay, he's finally on. He took forever to chalk. You have to swap, kind of like the crisscross salmon ladder or whatever, and you have to go back. Do you have to go up one? Uh, okay. And you just get up to the top. A little commentary on, on salmon ladders, and I'm gonna pat myself on the back for this one. Um, I've been able to go up the salmon ladder pretty consistently recently, and I'm, I'm very happy with that. However, I have not tried anything else on the salmon ladder. I haven't tried skipping rungs, I haven't tried transfers, I haven't tried going down the salmon ladder, just because I, I don't, I don't know why. It doesn't feel the most comfortable. But, finally, last week, I did try some salmon ladder transfer similar to what we just saw in that video of the Jimmy Fit games. And I actually did it. So, because I'm pretty happy with myself. The video that you've seen, I went up two rungs there. That was pretty hype. Um, yeah, so I guess, I guess so far, I'm not seeing any major problems for me on this stage too, which is kind of cool. But you know, there, I don't know how much of the course is left to go. So we'll see how this turns out. What is he grabbing? Oh, cones. Okay. Just grab the second one and then swing. Why are you crooked now? Oh, well, I guess that works. And that looks like an unstable bridge. Pretty nice. Just drops. Okay. Um, uh, is he going to take like an eternity to chalk again? All right, we're on to the wing nuts. Okay. But what the heck is that technique, bro? Ah, uh, uh, you know what? You know what? Just, ah, uh, you grabbed one side. Okay, let's talk about it. I do not like when wing nuts are done that way. It looks sloppy. I just, I just, uh, mm. there is such a clear design on the handholds for wing nuts that, like, it just hurts to see it not be used the way it was built and the way it was intended to be done. Oh, it, I just, okay. But I guess if those are the rules, I could beat those wing nuts pretty easily if I could just do a cheap strategy like that. So, yay? I don't know, let's keep going. Yeah, 
so he just grabbed one side and then is he crooked because your strategy kind of sucks yep okay platform there we go what's next oh my gosh this man in the chalk I'm just waiting at this point. Flywheels, okay. Ooh, that upwards lache is kind of spicy, but I mean, it, I don't know. He seemed to do it relatively easy. I do think I could do it. I just, uh, I don't know. I feel like the only concern I would have is being tired at the end of this course, you know, being a little pumped. And then, what? I'm guessing you flip a tire like that? Like wall flip. Okay. Well, that's stage two. Definitely harder than stage one, which I appreciate. Um, but at the same time, I do think that's pretty beatable. You know, um, Bo from the Sasuke Nerds. Bo is one of the best ninjas in the United States for his age division right now. He's absolutely insane. Uh, and I think Bo would absolutely crush this. I think I would maybe beat this stage two. And I can make it to stage three. But could I do stage three? That's an entirely different thing. Let's let's see what stage three is like. Okay, so after searching for a while, I could not find the third stage of this year's Jimmy Fate Games. But I know that there are plenty of others on their YouTube, so let me go and look for those. Okay, so I found a clip of someone trying stage three, not officially in competition because they lost on stage two. And it's a name that you guys would recognize. Think you recognize those arms? Look at this dude whiffing the salmon ladder. What a noob, right? No, it's Yusuke Morimoto the same year he won Sasuke 38. So now... <laughs> oh, let me put up the sound. I don't, I don't know what they're, I guess they're just trying different things. Three centimeter ledge, crazy cliffhanger. I wonder how the best in the world at cliffhanger is gonna do. Look at this, look at this bot, bro. Oh my gosh, in slow-mo. Okay, you know what? I actually need to check this. Three centimeters in inches is 1.18 inches that is ridiculous and he's just casually doing 180s on those psycho shocker yusuke is like one of the best what else is there vertical limit okay you know so stage three is a stage three jeez man Granted, this is from 2020, not 2023. I couldn't find the 2023 one. Flawless. Dude, it's shaking. Wait, are those on straps? Zoom in on that. Are those on straps? Yusuke is just that guy, man. He is, he is just that guy. Oh my gosh, this dude. Oh, flying bar. Okay, so it's a stage three. I'm sure that this isn't the entire course, but like they have actual stage three obstacles for this. And shocker, Yusuke's like killing this because they're all things that he's done before. What? What are they pointing at? Oh my gosh, that bar. Barely on it. Well, I guess that's it. You know, we've had the talk about is Yusuke the best ninja before? I've talked to some people about it. I still say no because there's so many other movements that he does not train. But the things that he does train on, he is insanely good at them. Well, if that's stage three, I know that no one's beaten stage three before over there. And now I, 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 I want to go. Anybody else think it would be really cool if like when all of the Sasuke nerds turn 18, you got me, Kane, Bo, and Billy all currently training for Ninja. 
And like, if you give us a couple more years, at least me, Billy, and Kane, because Bo could do it right now. But like, if you give us all the time to put in the work and we go to Taiwan, I think we could genuinely do some damage to the course. Because I was looking through the names on there and there was like Alvin Tan and, and Jackie Wong. They're from Hong Kong, they're not from Taiwan. Obviously, Yusuke was there, he's from Japan. People are allowed to come from other countries, so maybe we do. I don't know, would you guys want to see a TSN Sasuke Taiwan video? That would be kind of fun. Maybe down the line, maybe someday in the future. But with that, that's going to wrap up my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and subscribe. See you next time.